or Polynesian navigators. Um, it was uh, it was thought that the last Polynesian navigator passed away in 1969, and his name was Tevaki. So uh, you know, Tevaki was 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 viewed as being the last real Polynesian navigator. So uh, Nainoa, in his desire to want to be a navigator, had to go out of Polynesia and learn from the Micronesian. So um, what you're seeing here really is uh, is a legacy that comes from. Uh, you know, a different race, basically. Um, but the the principles are, um, are pretty much the same as what our ancestors would have used in terms of you know their knowledge of this of the heavenly bodies. So <coughs> the star compass. Um, if you have a look at the, at um, I don't know whether, uh, at your um, you've got all these handouts. Well, the uh, the handout actually shows. Um, if you have a look at the, okay, I'll just, yeah, I'll just, just need it to, I'm going to talk now, then it circle that you see around here is your entire environment so outside of that is the realm of the gods so you know um, when you're out on the ocean you, there isn't anything outside the circle because you know you have your horizon this, this is representative of the of the circle of horizon when you're sitting out in the middle of the ocean no land features around to break that horizon so you just got a circle basically of, um, of, um, of horizon and um, so what you have to search for are the clues and things that break the horizon that give you direction. So the star compass was really developed um, based on the sun and uh, knowledge of the sun. So <clears throat> what, uh, what we say is, is fitting up actually means, means um, uh, basically the rays of the sun. So it's, it's the place where you first see the sun shining. So that's, uh, that's fitting up. And over here, Tomokana basically means the entryway, or in this particular case, this is, the, this is the place where you see the rays of the sun just before the sun rises into the sky. And when the sun completes its, its, uh, its transit of the, of the heavens, and it comes down and sets in the west, it enters into the ocean. So you have uh, the entryway and the exit, basically, or the, or the, or the rising place. So, uh, due east is to Fitchinger, and due west is Tomokana. And um, if you have a look over here, you have a house called uh, Raki Tokero and Raki Marana. And on this side, you have Raki Taparo and Raki Mahutoma. And so those four houses are actually, the Ra on there actually represents Tamanui Tara, or um, the sun god. So Tama Nui Tara is represented in those two houses. So basically, um, what you're looking at are other places where at, at some time during the year, you'll see the sun rising on the horizon. And outside each of those two ra, you have Kainga Kimoramai and Kainga Kitogero. And Kainga means home. So between Kainga Kitogero and Kainga Kimoramai, that's the home of the sun. Those five houses that you see there, well, each of these little areas, we call them a house. So those five houses is where you'll find the sun. You won't find the sun anywhere rising on the horizon except in those particular places. So, Kainga Ki Tokero, for us down in the Southern Hemisphere, 
when the sun is rising there, it's midwinter. So that's the solstice position. And Kainga ki Kimorongai down here is is um, is the the um, southern solstice position or midsummer, and it's still coming in, um, in December. So December the twenty something twenty second is uh, is uh, is a solstice position. Now our our ancestors called that. Um, 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 I forget. <laughs> or the turning place of the sun. So that's where the sun turns around. So he gets to the solstice position, he comes down, and then he turns around and he goes back. That's basically what the Takama Otera means. And so, um, so in September, you'll find September the 21st, you'll find the sun in Fatima. And then every day of the, of the, for the next three months, you'll see him rising at a different place on the horizon until he arrives down here in, in late December in Kainga Kimorongo, rising on, uh, 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 um, in, the, um, uh, in the morning uh, over the horizon. And he'll rise there, and then the next day he'll start walking, sorry, start um, travelling back towards here. So it takes six months for the sun to rise at a different position, all the way down to Kainga and all the way back to Fiji. So that's a six-month process, and then six months back to the north, That's Marangi. And down here, Marangi, you have Marangi ki Marangai, 
Ngārangi ki Mahutanga and Ngārangi here on the north west and Ngārangi in the north east. And Ngārangi actually refers to the places in the heavens where you look to for the clues to give you a direction. And if we get a couple of clues out a little bit later, it's a bit brighter.